Hello everybody, Roy here. Today I'm going to be going over the basics of Man vs. Machine or MVM and explaining to you what you need to know to play the six typically used classes or meta in the game. MVM is a six player co-op game mode where you and your team battle to defend a bomb being sent to the deployment area on a map from robots which are controlled by AI. Each class has a specific main role and generally should focus on that. The six classes we'll go over today are Heavy, Scout, Demo Man, Soldier, Engineer, and Medic. The robots are based on the nine basic classes in TF2, however varieties such as giants, tanks, and bosses will show up on different maps. Once one of them spawns, they should shift to be the main focus of many classes. They have more health and damage than any other robot. At the start of each round, players are given a set amount of money to spend on upgrades, which can be used to improve you or your weapons. Building to defend what is coming up on the next wave is important, and you should always do so before each round. Money is dropped by killing robots, which once picked up can be used to spend on canteens or other upgrades. After a short time of being down on the ground, money will begin to blink and then eventually despawn. Canteens are used to give you instant abilities for a short time. At the bottom of your screen, there is a button that says Refund Upgrade. This will give you the money from your basic upgrades back, but will not give you the money back from your canteens, so use canteens wisely. First, we have Heavy, who is one of the most basic classes that I would recommend anyone who is new to Man vs. Machine starting out with. As Heavy, you should be trying to block the pathway of robots and focus on killing giants as they come towards you. You are the meat of the front lines, and most aggression from enemies will be focused on you which means buying upgrades that will sustain your life and that give you survivability are key. Money is one of the most important things in MVM. That's where the scout comes in. As scout, grabbing money is your number one priority and should be focused over anything else. As scout, you act like a magnet to the money, and it will come to you if you get within a close range. Scout will also get a large overheal based on the amount of money he picks up. Depending on how big the money piles are, he will get more health. Building mobility is important to get you around to the money, and survivability to keep you from having to leave the fight. Scout's other role is to provide support. You can do so by throwing mad milk on the enemies, and by hitting them with a fan of lore which will provide mini crits on a single target. Marking for death and milking giants is the second most important thing you should do. Grabbing money is always your number one priority. One of the more complicated classes is Demo Man. As a Demo Man, your main job is to kill Uberman by setting sticky traps where they will be walking. Demo Man is also used for wave clear as he has a large blast radius. As a demo, you will need to be looking out and paying attention to what is coming. If an Uber Medic stays alive, they may pop or activate Uber Charge on the thing they are healing. Upgrading your stickies should be the main priority. Having the ability to place a full set of stickies as fast as possible and getting instant kills is very important. Focus on things like reload, fire rate, and damage to make it so you can one-shot the medics. The Soldier is a high damage class with a large blast radius and good accuracy. The Soldier's main job is wave clear and focusing on damage for single targets. Soldier is another fairly simple class, shoot at things and deal damage. Using one of the three banners is important, each supplying nearby teammates with a helpful buff. Buff banner is typically used and will help your teammates kill things faster by giving them mini crits. Building general damage on your rocket launcher is good, along with health on kill since you'll be taking out a lot of the smaller targets. The most complicated of the six is Engineer. Your job is to be extremely supportive to your team and maintain your building. The Sentry is used to wave clear due to its auto aim. It is also used to block the path of robots with its generally high health. As the Engineer, maxing out your dispenser range is always your first upgrade. After that, building sustainability for your gun and other buildings is important. Getting Sentry health lets it stay alive longer, along with getting metal capacity, which will allow you to repair your gun for longer without having to go seek out a metal source. Your dispenser typically belongs to your teammates, placing it where your team is will help them out. Also, make sure that it is somewhere where it will not be easily killed by the robots. As the engineer, you have one main enemy, which is the sentry busters. Sentry busters will seek you out and blow up wherever your gun is, even if it is in your hands. The best way to defend against this is by running up to a sentry buster, where it will begin to sit down and then explode. Keeping your team alive is the medic's main priority. Try always keeping everyone around you at an overview to keep them from dying. As Medic, one of your upgrades lets you get a projectile shield which will block anything fired from a gun except for fire itself. Use this to block incoming bursts of damage from things like giants. Dealing out damage is important to your team. As a Medic, using the crit screen will let you gain uber faster and lets your team output more damage. If a teammate is killed, they will drop a small device that can be healed to respawn them where they died at. As a Medic, you should always prioritize projectile shield first. It lets you block incoming damage from happening to your team if used right. After that, getting healing mastery and overheal expert are both vital. They will let you maintain your team's health as well as heal them faster. Hopefully you guys did find this tutorial helpful. If I left anything out, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, I plan on making a full tutorial for each of the nine classes later on. Thank you guys for watching.